Just getting in from a three day trip here. Nice fillet bags. Where'd you get this crap? Good fishing to be had. Came back in with 126 bluefin for this three day trip. A few standouts. We had like six, seven fish over 100 pounds. Good morning, my dear friends, and welcome to beautiful Surfside, California sandwich. Right between Seal Beach and Huntington Beach, it's a gloriously beautiful morning here in SoCal. I can't get any nicer than it is. Just look at that ocean out there. She is flat, calm, and beautiful, and the weather forecast of the weekend is for some really beautiful seas, which is going to translate into some magnificent fishing. It's already magnificent. On the lead-in, we saw the El Patron early this morning catching bluefin tuna at night. Don't have any numbers on them, but they got that video off to me to indicate that they were getting bit. And that is great news. I saw them leaving last night as we were doing a live show with Danny Cadota. And what a great show Danny put on. It's archived for you right now. You can check it out. By the way, a guy by the name of James Marcial. Great guy. Become a friend of mine really, really fast. Him and his son, Lorenzo. He was watching the show. Danny was giving a recipe on how to prepare yellowtail, and James came up with his masterpiece. Watching the show last night and preparing that masterpiece, that is fantastic. I know Danny is going to love it. The big bluefin on the bite. Man, we've got all kinds of news for you. You saw the legend out of H&M landing in San Diego unloading. Tremendous trip for them, but it doesn't stop there. We've got more information on that. There's great rock fishing up and down the coast on this beautiful weekend day. The Eddie Leland Memorial is this Saturday at All Souls Cemetery in Long Beach from 4 to 8 p.m. I will see you there. There's so much to talk about, so much to get into. Let's do it right now because you know what time it is. It's time for the morning briefing. Good morning, my friends. Oh, is that good or what? Man, that coffee is so good. The sun is warm. It's a beautiful morning. And I hope you are all doing well. I don't know if fishing in SoCal has been this good for the entire 2023 season. It is phenomenal. We'll get into that in just a moment. Not only lots of bluefin tuna, but big ones. Biggest fish of the year. And who knows, maybe we're going to break that 400-pound mark here at the end of 2023. Don't forget, hit that like button. Share these videos with a friend. Subscribe to the Friedman Adventures channel, moving up on 12,000 subscriptions as well as over 4 million views, 10 million views when you take in our social media. Man, I can't thank you enough. You can follow us, speaking of that, on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Spotify, and Apple Podcasts. It's always great. Tonight, another live show from 22nd Street Landing in San Pedro, California, and it's going to be a great one because Brian Wynn, is going to be joining us. It's been a long time since we've had Brian on the show. It's been a long time since I've seen my friend. So knowledgeable, such a great guy. You are going to love it because he's going to talk about the five things he's learned from the 2023 season. He did that last year, and that show was a huge hit, as will be this one, because Brian is going to share those secrets with you, and it will improve your game not only for next year, but right now, if you've got upcoming trips, Brian's going to share some techniques and secrets that are going to make you a better angler. Tonight, 6 p.m. on the Freedman Adventures YouTube channel, Brian Wynn joining us, and it's going to be a good one. It's a live show. You can funnel in questions and learn so much tonight. 6 p.m., start to that show. Well, they were calling for a gale warning today. Maybe it's manifesting itself somewhere. It's supposed to last until... 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Look, I got my little wind thing on and everything else, but I mean, you know, it's blowing five knots here on the beach at least. Maybe there's some wind offshore. I looked at the seas that surrounded the El Patron video last night. It didn't look too bad to me at all. So 
If there is going to be any wind, it's going to be over shortly, and we're going to see some beautiful, beautiful seas this weekend. It's going to be gorgeous. And I looked at it. It looks like a little bit of a blow, maybe Thursday-ish. We'll get some wind for a brief period of time, and then we go into a scenario of just beautiful flat calm weather if these long-range forecasts are going to hold up. By the way, I notice a southward dip to the jet stream next Thursday. Now, again, long-range forecast. But if that southward dip does manifest, we're going to be in for some rainy weather from Thursday on. And it looks like we could be in for a little bit of rain for quite some time. Can't tell whether it's going to be the atmospheric river that some are already calling for. Clickbait, if you ask me. Can't tell how much rain is involved. It could be virtually nothing. It could be heavy, heavy rain. And it should affect northern Baja, California. We'll keep our friends down in that neck of the woods. Sometimes the infrastructure and Tijuana and other areas lead to a lot of flooding, but it should affect those guys and Southern California. We'll see how that all plays out. All right, let's get into it with you all. First of all, I want to take you down to Playa del Sol, Baja, California, the East Cape, where my friend Andrew Deal and his brother Phil had great Dorado fishing on their most recent trip. They sent me some photos and said, man, it was really great fishing. Tuna fishing, not biting that well at all, but the Dorado made up for it. It was full speed, wide open, flathead fishing for those guys. Andrew, Phil, I'm so happy you guys had a great trip. Up here in this neck of the woods, let's talk offshore tuna because it is phenomenal. I'm looking at a photo from the new low end. It looks like a long range trip. It looks like a 16 day trip. Just came in, it was a three day trip. And they had 16 anglers catch 96 bluefin tuna. Eric Lee was on that trip. Eric. What a trip you had. He had six fish over 100 pounds. He said it was full speed. He dumped a lot of fish. He caught more, by the way. He dumped a lot of fish, and he said it was because of some old spectra that he was fishing with. A real good reminder that you need this winter to have your reels gone through and get some new spectra on there. If you need it, you can talk to your trusted tackle store guys like Sam De La Torre over there at Island Fishing Tackle or whoever it is you go to. You know, those local tackle stores, those guys really will take good care of you. The fish biting the big ones, mostly at night on the 300 to 500 gram jigs. It was phenomenal on the new Loana. You saw what they had on the legend as they were unloading. You're listening to Captain Steve Taft narrate that. It was another big trip for the legend. They seem to do it all the time, over and over and over again, 100 plus on the Bluefin Tuna. I think Steve said they had six over the 100 pound mark. The Pacific Queen in with limits of Bluefin Tuna. 32 guys, 64 on the Bluefin Tuna. The Thunderbird here out of Davies Lock in Newport Beach, they said they hooked 40 fish to get 29 on board Bluefin and on board the Freedom 20 guys with 18 Bluefin Tuna. It's spectacular fishing. I don't care what time of the year you are uh, fishing. It's November right now in SoCal 2023. It's the best fishing of the year by far. And now after this wind event goes through, yeah, it really looks bad here locally. Uh, once the wind gets out of the picture, we're back in them. And that is, if you're leaving tonight, you're good. You're going to have a great, beautiful weather scenario for the rest of the weekend. And that is good news. Sometimes, I had guys last night who came on our live Danny Cadota show, Jeff Yeomans from the 540 Slingers Club. Good morning, Jeff. And Jeff said, hey, Phil. I'm telling you, we had to drop down to 15-pound fluorocarbon to get a bite at sometimes. Most crew members are going to want to kill you if you drop down that light and you're not quite sure of how to pull on a fish. But, you know, if that's what it takes, I'm all for it, Jeff. Thanks for that tip. A lot of guys will say 25-pound. You can get bit on that when the fish are really finicky. Choosing a good hot bait is the way to make it happen. Changing that bait regularly, of course. Sometimes they're biting the 40-pound fluorocarbon. You have got to observe what is going on on the particular trip that you're on. And it can be different from one boat fishing here to a boat a mile away fishing. They're, they're having different types of fishing. Fish are biting heavy, fish are biting light. It's blue fin here, it's yellow fin here. It's really weird how that all happens. But the only way to understand how to get a bite is by being observant, talking to your crew members, choosing that good hot bait. That makes a big difference. Those chrome jigs, those 100 to 150 gram chrome Davosaconis, for example, 
can come in very handy. You can go up to the bow, make a cast, and let that thing sink. Sometimes you'll get bit on the sink. Sometimes you'll get bit on the retrieve. But you have your fish now hooked on 50 pound, where it's difficult to get a bait bite on lighter line. You can hook them on that heavier line when you're fishing a jig. So keep that in mind. That's going to make all the difference in the world for you. As you can hear, there is some tremendous nighttime fishing going on right now. It has been incredible with the nighttime bites being fabulous. So make sure you are properly tackled up with good Daiwa two-speed reels. You definitely want to have 100 to 130 pound spectra on there. 300 to 500 gram jigs seem to have been working best of all. When the captain says drop, you need to drop immediately. You have to drop immediately to get a bite. You have to drop to the appropriate depth that the captain is telling you to drop at. He's telling you 300 feet. You're dropping to 325. You're coming up through that. You're free swimming when you get up to 275 or so and starting the whole process over again. If you're in the zone, you have a better chance of getting bit. That metered line that changes colors every 100 feet is going to make a huge difference to you because you know exactly where your jig is. So keep that in mind and you'll be successful. And don't be afraid to walk up to a crew member and say, I need a little bit of help. You know, last night on the live show, we had people from Montana, Florida, Mexico, the Amazon in Brazil. There was all kinds of other places where people were joining us from Taiwan. It was really fabulous to have such a big audience and worldwide now here on the Freedom Adventures YouTube channels. They all tuned in to hear Danny Cadota and it was a great show. So our offshore tuna situation is still really, really good. Awesome fishing going on. Now that rain that we see off there in the forecast, first of all, it's so long range. Don't even think about it. And it may end up just being a little bit of a drizzle here and there. This season is not going to end. It's going to go right through January the 1st. That's my suspicion here. Even if we get a drop in water temperatures, the wind's picking up just a little bit. Even if we get drops in water temperature, I don't think that's going to make a difference because it hasn't made a difference in past years. Those fish were biting in 50 degree water at times. 59 degree, 57 degree with all this squid around. And there's a lot of it, market squid, pushing into Southern California. In fact, you'll see light boats from Huntington Beach to off Seal Beach to off here. Uh, there's squid at Catalina Island. There's squid up in the Channel Islands. There's a lot of that. That's a great food source for these bluefin tuna. And that has them hanging out here for another winter and then just moving in to our springtime bite next year. Not to mention that all that squid bodes well for sea bass and halibut and everything else in the coming spring. It should be really, really fantastic. So we have a lot to watch and we are going to continue to do that for you very close. So we take a look at the island situation and not a whole lot going on at our islands right now. Mostly guys are fishing rockfish. Catalina, however, there's been a few yellowtail. They're pretty good bonita fishing. Okay, calico bass fishing at times. Channel Islands, we see tremendous rock fishing going on up there in that neck of the woods. It has been fantastic with a lot of lings kicked in there and so much more. Our friend Steve Bermudez was up there out of Santa Barbara. I think he was on the Stardust, if I remember correctly, and had some really, really good fishing up there in that neck of the woods. So there's good rockfish at most of the islands, and you do have a chance at a little bit of surface activity. We'll continue to watch that very, very closely. Coastal regions, you know, gray whales are starting to make their annual migration from the Bering Seas down to the warm water lagoons of Baja, California. We're starting to see a little bit more of that. That's great news as you're out on a local trip and the kids get treated to that kind of a thing. It's really beautiful. Mostly rockfish up and down the coast. There's a little bit of calico bass. You have a chance at some of that at times, but mostly rockfish up and down our coast right now as that continues to bite really, really well and provides everybody with great table fare and excellent eating fish. That is for sure. We continue also to look out there in the Ventura area where our good friends from Ventura Harbor Sport Fishing should have a glorious local weekend for the California and the island spirit. Those guys should be all over the whitefish and sheep set and deep water caught if they choose to do that. 805-676-3474. Man, there is some great fishing going on there. Lobster fishing, still really good at Catalina Island. It should be a great one this weekend. Those combo trips are really fun 
and really productive. You get to catch some whitefish or deep water cod, and then you start hoop netting at Catalina Island. There's been some days where they miss over there, but in most cases, it has been really, really good. Hey, Jonathan Waschek. Haven't seen Jonathan for way too long, but Jonathan was out, I think, on the Gale Force or the Triton, one of those twos out of L.A. Harbor. You see him with a couple of nice lobster. Nothing wrong with that. That looks pretty darn good. In the surf, man, I'll tell you, this endless summer is producing some excellent surf fishing for yellowfin croaker, corvina. There's an occasional halibut. There's still barred perch around. Bar Perch never really got out of the picture. You just ask Noli Yan Jr. Great guy. Noli, hope you're doing well, my friend. He's catching all of that up and down the coast. Noli likes to fish that really light line. I'm talking dropping down to two pounds sometimes in the surf here. Digging up sand crabs. If they're hard to come by, you can try digging up some sandworms. And if all of that presents too big of a pain in the neck for you, big fish. Bait and tackle in the beautiful city of Seal Beach, California, right down the street here where you can get all those baits, well, not all those baits, sand crabs are not available at our tackle stores. You can get the baits you'll need. You can get all kinds of worms and ghost shrimp and so much more. Down there, Big Fish Bait and Tackle, you can also get your Big Fish gear, gear up for these big blue fish, or you can buy your surf fishing gear. All of it right down there on the corner of Seal Beach Boulevard and Pacific Coast Highway. And where I'm standing right now, there's some really good surf fishing right here. You go down to Anderson and PCH, there's a big tower there. Walk out on that street and fish bait on the high tides two hours before until two hours after. There's a lot more. It's more complicated, but I'm trying to make it easy for you novice guys. You fish in that four-hour window, and you'll catch some fish. Only thing that'll screw you up is too much wind and weather, and if there's too much grass in the water. I don't see any seaweed at all. Somebody, me, should be throwing a chrome three-quarter ounce crocodile right now. It is absolutely perfect conditions for that. I guarantee you, you would catch some fish. Uh, Rock cut, as I mentioned, really good. Uh, sea Watch is focusing on that down there out of San Diego. Also, same thing on the Dolphin. Full day trips out of San Diego. A lot of people are asking about that in some of our chats and some of our social media. Um, yeah, I still think it's a reality. Now, most recently, the San Diego, a few days ago, had 107 yellowfin tuna on a boat that leaves in the morning, comes back that same evening. And that is the San Diego out of Seaforth. The next day they go down there, conditions are terrible, and they don't catch much at all. However, I'm thinking that that's just the way it is right now. It's really hit and miss. So you go on one of those boats that are fishing like those full day trips, whether it's the Mission Bell or it's the Malahini or whoever it is, you've got a very good chance of catching some fish, especially with this gorgeous weather weekend we are presented with right now. All right, my friends, don't forget, tonight we are live. You're not going to want to miss Brian Wynn. He is fantastic. Great guy, and he is going to impart some knowledge to you, the five things that he's learned in the 2023 season. And if you have any questions at all, Brian will be there to answer your questions tonight, 6 p.m. live on the Friedman Adventures YouTube channel. All right, my friends, have a great day. I hope you are doing well. I will see you this Saturday at the Eddie Leland Memorial. Again, All Souls Cemetery. That is going to be from 4 to 8 p.m. in Long Beach, California. Have a beautiful day. It can't get any more gorgeous. I'm telling you, Friday is going to be another beautiful day, and this weekend is going to be really special. We are truly blessed here in Southern California. All right, have a great one, and I hope to see you really, really soon.